So just to establish a few things uh, at the start of this tutorial. Um, so how you gain speed uh, when you bunny hop is air strafing. Um, so air strafing is this left and right motion. Um, so as I look to the left, I'm holding A. And then as I look to the right, I'm holding D. So you hold the, the directional key that corresponds to the direction that you're turning in. Uh, and jumping is just a means of preserving this speed. Uh, jumping on flat surfaces does not gain you any you right. horizontal velocity. Now, however, um, you can gain horizontal velocity by hitting hops off of uh, a slanted surface. So I'm going to use auto jump here. Uh, so just holding space bar, you see I'm gradually gaining speed. Um, and you see I have this velocity now that I'm preserving uh, only through the jumps. And if I hop, in addition to, you know, just the, the slope, see I gain quite a bit of speed here that I now have. Um, landing hops on an, a slope is the only way that you gain speed from just purely the jumping portion. Otherwise, jumping is only a means of preserving the velocity that you get from the air strafing. Um, and to be clear, air strafing does not have to be this repetitive back and forth thing. If you need to turn a corner, you might go two or three jumps in, you know, the same direction. You do not have to alternate between left and right for every single jump. It's just a matter of where you need to go uh, so you turn accordingly. For most of this video, I'm going to be using auto jump uh, just so I can demonstrate strafing better. Uh, so don't be confused if you just see me holding down spacebar on the uh, keyboard overlay. That's just me using auto jump for the purpose of demonstration. And when you're bunny hopping, like you don't, you do not want to be holding W at all, because as you can see, this is not. I'm not strafing. It is possible to bunny hop while holding W, but that is it's slower, um, and it's a lot harder to wrap your head you around. I can't even do it. You only want to hold W to uh, initially gain speed, and then as soon as you jump, you want to let go of W, and then start with the air strafing and jumping. Okay, so this should just show off the basic strafing technique. Um, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to be using auto jump just so I can focus on strafe, so I can just show what it would optimally look like, at least to the best of my ability. Um, so yeah. Hey, anyone out there? Um, so that's like me like really focusing. So the, the main things that like affect your speed while strafing is just whether you're going too wide or uh, not moving enough, like your mouse enough. Um, so like this to me is hey, what I can like feel there? is basically like optimal more or less within reason. Um, if I go like this, you can see I'm not really gaining much horizontal like f speed going towards this wall um and if i do this then i'm not not really gaining much speed either um, but if i do what i'm used to you can see i'm gaining speed much faster uh so it's, it's really just a matter of feeling uh like the player kind of has like a weight that you're kind of throwing around and you can kind of feel whether you're going too hard like this here you see i'm just losing speed um or just going too little I, it's hard for me even to try to move too little because it just feels so unnatural you see like i'm, I'm not really gaining much speed here at all but if i back at me, folks. do what i'm used to then yeah I'm getting optimal speed so of course if i do it without auto jump my strikes are going to be a lot like not a lot, but it'll just be worse because I'm also using my brain to time spacebar. But let's pretend I'm actually hitting offs, and this is, you know, somewhat of what it would look like, basically. 
Again with auto jump. I'm just moving my mouse with the direction that I'm holding on the keyboard, which you can see in the overlay. Anyone out there? It's now explain how to jump properly in this game. Uh, so first of all, uh, in Left 4 Dead, in either of the Left 4 Dead games, you need to have tick perfect hops because uh, on the second tick that you're on the ground, um, a hard speed cap is applied, at? which reverts you to the speed that you would be walking at or crouching at if you, say, miss a crouch hop, or if you miss a standing hop, then it just reverts you to the walking speed. Um, so, uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 both run at uh, a tick rate of 30 uh, ticks per second, uh, compared to Half-Life 2 and Portal 1, which run at 66, and Portal 2, which runs at 60. Um, and uh, because the tick rate is 30, the jump timing window that you have to press spacebar uh, is 33 milliseconds. Um, in games like Portal, Half-Life 2, hey, and Portal 2, um, and basically every other source game that's speedrun, uh, you use the mouse wheel um, to jump because uh, the friction isn't bad, um, and they don't have the same kind of hard speed cap, basically, um, that like Left 4 Dead has. Uh, so they can get away with being a tick or more late on hops. Um, of course, there is an advantage in those games to having tick perfect hops, but it's not, you know, anywhere as relevant as it is in this game. Um, and so the reason why we don't just scroll on Left 4 Dead is because uh, every action, like uh, you holding W to go forward or you pressing spacebar to jump, uh, every action has a, a plus and a minus, basically. So, like, there's plus jump, and then there's minus jump. Uh, so when I, I press the jump key down, that's plus jump. And uh, when I let go, then a minus jump is sent. Uh, so in order to jump, you, you need to have input a plus jump on the tick that you hit the ground uh, to maintain the speed. Um, so... Optimally, you can only jump 15 times per second uh, at 30 tick rate because every plus action needs a minus to go with it. Um, and so that occupies every other tick, the minus action. So you need to, or you, so you can only have 15 jump inputs per second. And because this game requires tick perfect tops, um, you can't really gamble on missing uh, your hops because you just didn't align with your plus jump input if you were doing 15 jumps per second. Um, so it is just easier and far more consistent to just press spacebar when you hit the ground. Um, and you have a 33 millisecond window uh, to do so, as I've uh, explained. Some common misconceptions. Uh, your uh, interpolation or lerp uh, does not affect your hops at all. Um, and neither does your ping. Um, your jumps are, you know, and your all your all player movement is, you know, client side predicted. So, um, the latency of any kind, in that sense, does not affect whether you can hit a hop or not. Um, the most important thing is to just have consistent frame rate, um, so the way your input lag is consistent, and you're not like. Uh, getting like confused by seeing 60 FPS and then suddenly dropping to 30 or something, you know. Uh, of course, like the bad example, but I th I think you can get the idea. Like if you're playing an FPS game and you try to aim, and the game lags. Like you know, your your aim gets worse because you're just used to a higher frame rate. Um, higher refresh rate monitors do help, I would say, with bunny hopping. Um, but literally the best active player, Vocal Tech, uses a 60 hertz monitor, so it's really not necessary. Um, but I feel like it does help. If you're completely new to source movement and uh, you know, the idea of air strafing and stuff, I would recommend just downloading uh, Auto Bunny Hop uh, script, uh, which is, I just call Auto Jump, which. Um, will allow you to just solely focus on your air strafing hey, rather than having there? to worry about timing your jumps as well. And uh, tutorials for that are on my channel.
And to be perfectly clear, uh, these auto bunny hop scripts that I speak of are not fucking cheats that you can use in public matches. They are source mod plugins. They only work on a local server that you're hosting, whether it's a dedicated or just local server in game. Uh, and they don't work in public matches or anything. Um, so if you're looking for that, uh, you can fuck off. <laughs>